data is, is so key to guide the formulation of strategies to respond to the various facets of the crisis and help us to build uh, and uh, construct resilient systems. I really think we need as a community to look at ways of building the capacity of the civil service uh, to think more by default around openness. A lot more needs to be done by the duty bearers in terms of how proactive are they with the information they provide, how do they go to the details and the quality of the information they provide, and how receptive are they to feedback. The government did respond to COVID through data that came, I mean, this one that came from data. Yes, the data is available, and uh, luckily we've gotten access to some of it, but there is lack of transparency in real-time data. We thought it would be really critical to track expenditure. We are, we are doing all we can to ensure that there's transparency. You know, we are private sector players. How then will we strengthen our data systems, both at the national and the county level, and how will we then know what information can then uh, be made easily available for those who are engaged in the health sector or any other developmental sector that they want to be able to make a conclusion. So what we did is we came up some, with some guidelines on how startups, the civil society, actually anybody who would want to access the COVID data can access it for use on humanitarian response. And then after a certain time that can be withdrawn. We have an opportunity, uh, particularly uh, looking at uh, now the shift to the use of ICT. Um, that enables us to share data uh, more proactively. Let's move from paper to pavement. Let's look what is available and work with it. It changes that, that you know, drive change downwards and then show those use cases to others um, and kind of hopefully build out that kind of momentum where people see what that data and what those standards can, can do for them. The ball is in the court of the government squarely to use uh, the resources they have to collect data, not only related to COVID, but that that will improve the health system. And we as civil society remain committed to work with them.